Oh, well, this is up, my star family, and welcome back to a very new video. And today I'm talking about the energies of December. This is my first time doing a video like this, so I'm excited. So I have no idea what I'm gonna say because I just got finished recording another video. And so I'm just gonna talk about my experience this past month and what I have been kind of going through and lately these past few weeks I've been going through a lot of letting go of the things that no longer serve me. So the things that used to work like Basically, things that used to work in my life no longer, it's becoming kind of a block now. And I don't want to let it go, but my, my intuition is telling me that in order to expand, I need to let this go. But I don't want to because I've had it for so long. And... I've been, once I finally let things go that no longer served me, I've, in a way, I've become more, be, one, rediscovered, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, I rediscovered more of myself, and I feel like I'm more authentically me now and <sighs> okay there's this thing that happens where when I start speaking about these things I I feel like so much energy comes through me that I just have to take a breather sometimes and just just I have to just calm down kind of like slow down and I want to make this video as raw as possible so I'll give a quick example so in my childhood I used to be in a lot of fights and re I've lost, I'll be honest, I've lost more fights than I won. Not saying I, all I really knew how to do was block and throw punches. So I wasn't a experienced fighter or a karate person or anything. But what I've realized was a lot, a lot of the fights that I've lost, I, I made a decision that, okay, these, these aren't my people. I don't need to be hanging around these people. And yeah, this is not the place for me, but even though I made that decision, I, I still hung out with people that used to fight and like fight in the bathrooms and just weird stuff like that. And I had to completely let go of what I thought was my friends because if I kept hanging around them, I kept getting into more fights and it wasn't even me being rude or anything. I'll, I'll give a quick example. So how I was in the past, so how I was basically, I wasn't a mean person. It's just people would come up to me and ask me, do I want to fight? And I'll say, okay, <laughs> just okay, or you want to fight? We can fight right here because I never fought anybody that I barely knew. Every every person that I fought 
I've always knew them. And if I don't know them, my friend probably knows them, so. But the point of the story is I had to create a new, surround myself by new kinds of people. And when, once I did that, I felt more calmer. I didn't feel that fight or flight mode anymore. And I've made a lot of good friends, mostly nerds, but they're good friends. And so this past month and what I feel like I'm going to go through, what I feel like everybody's going to go through in December is they're going to see past the cloud. And they're going to be more aware of what's holding them back and what changes they have to make because if you don't it, these changes are becoming more clearer now who you are becoming is becoming more clearer and what's holding you what's holding you back is becoming more obvious and it's hard to make that first step and it's hard to predict the future because the future is not set in stone the the future is like a river basically and to predict the future is like predicting how the rain is gonna fall and so, what you really have to focus on is taking the first step and keep taking that first step and just ignoring all the doubt. It, here's the funny part. Like, when I make videos, when I make videos like this, before I make the videos, all these doubts come up. But when I start actually recording and speaking to you guys, things become more clear. And I become more focused and, and it's like... It's, it becomes more clear and focused and it's like a, a breather, like what was I worried about in the beginning? And I found the reasons why I wasn't, I found the reasons why I was worried, why I was so doubtful because part of me didn't feel worthy to speak about every anything because part of me didn't think I knew anything and I came to realize that that version of me is just hurt and scared and it wants to take the safe and comfortable route but the safe and comfortable route is the most dangerous route to go in because you will live a life unf unfulfilled. And that I don't feel like, I, I know I can go down that path, but I don't want to take that path. I want to take risk and risk in life not not stupid risk but smart risk if that makes sense but mm, yeah what else do I want to say hmm I don't know I feel like okay so there's something I did recently, so 
I went outside earlier today and I just, out of, out of nowhere, I looked up in the sky and I asked the universe to give me a sign that this is this isn't all just me or in my head and so i visualized myself my aura lighting up like a beacon is shooting out to the universe and i opened my eyes and for a second i saw a, a huge flash of light like this light was bigger than other stars. It was so obvious and it went, as soon as I saw it, it went away. And I feel like we should pay attention to the, not only the big signs, but the small signs in our life. And just be aware of what spirit is trying to, what messages the spirit is trying to give us. And use that, just be aware that <clears throat> how you feel when you see that message is, you, you can basically, basically decipher it. And so that's all I have to say for this video. So I hope you enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you in another version of the now. Later.